Okay, so now I have opened the pendulum uh, uh, assignment here and the pendulum. Uh, pendulum is it, it swings, it swings from above. So if we, if I were to select, uh, you see here, just like in the ball balance, I have this animation workspace open. So we can see my graph editor, we can see the timeline. And uh, so if I were to take this uh, top control, I'm selecting just the circle here for the control for it. Okay, that moves the whole thing. Very good. So the triangle is locked. If I were to grab this, I click E to rotate. There we go. Let's see if I were to click and drag over all of them. Very good. So I clicked and dragged over all these bottom um uh the, this kind of tail thing this pendulum all these controls on the bottom of it and i'm going to go ahead and click s and i'll go ahead and go to say frame well here we'll rotate this here click s and then i'll move this over to say frame 10 And take this other way, S. And then let's go to 20. And this time for 20, I want it to go back to where I was on my first frame. So what can I do? I can right click. I'll click here on frame zero. And I will right click. And I'm going to go to copy. And I'll select frame 20. I'll right click and I will go to paste and paste. There we go. When I do that, let's see how that plays. There we go. Let's go ahead and click here. This this window here is showing what will show at the end of the timeline. I'll click 20. And let's go ahead and click play. And you see that it You can see that it it loops without having any uh, loops smoothly, and that's great. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to File, Save Scene As, and I'm going to share this into my folder. I'm gonna call this Oops New Folder here, and we will call this Pendulum. And I'll let's go ahead and call it Pendulum. Okay. Uh, here I am in my graph editor. And if I go up here, remember that we want these areas where it's what we're looking for here. When we had the ball balance, it was kind of basically. Where everything goes faster is where there's gravity pulling. So this is pulling down from frame zero. So it should go faster here. Or wait, we should go faster right at the bottom and then slow down as it reaches the top. So it'll start out slower and then faster as it goes over the top and bottom. So let's take a look here. It's at the top of this. It's frame 10. And okay, so that goes that way. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can get this to work. I'm going to go ahead and grab this handle. I'm not going to break my tangent. I think I'm going to, well, let's, let's try this. Let's do a, maybe, let's see. Let's see where it starts off. Let's go to frame zero. And since I'm here, if I click uh, View, shouldn't it do a thing where it views my selection? There we go. Okay, so let's grab each one of these. 
And I'm going to grab this handle. Let's see if I pull it out this way. Or let's do a, um, if I go here to, what is this, tangents, how about curves? I go to curves and I go to, I think if I click weighted tangents, there we go. Select all of these and we'll go to curves, weighted tangents, is that right? I think so. And then I'll select this and let's pull this out. Let's pull this out. Oops. <clears throat> and I should have this one here as well. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So, you know, I think it's a little bit too much contrast between movements here, but we have a very, it's very slow towards the top each way and fast at the bottom. I think if I take these and I actually go, oh, let's see, I selected all of them. Good. And let's, it's about halfway in. Let's click play. A little bit more this way. Let's see. What about a third of the way, I think, will work. Yeah, it's about a third of the way. A little bit more this way. Okay, so that works out, right? We've got a nice dip. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see what we can do. Oh. Let's see if I put this on like, uh, that won't do anything like this. Nope, it's only, Rotates, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I have this going on here. This is rotate X. What if <clears throat> I grab this frame here at frame 10, move this over to say frame 12. Uh, you know what? We'll just stick here with the pendulum. I think that'll work. We'll start to do the rest of this but this is really all we need here we go and we can even we could even do this well i think i'm going to leave that as is we have this thing swinging we've attacked all of those at the same time we did some uh we did some ease in and out let's see 
there anything here to it just rotates it yeah I think that's about it okay so we just did that we were able to select all of them and rotate them this one was fairly simple we've uh, affected the timing everything hopefully this is as fast and simple for you guys as well and what I want to do is go to file I've saved the scene already and this is what I'm going to turn in. You can see when I click File, Save Scene, you see I get my result and it shows where I've saved it to. That's good for you to be able to spot it. You want to make sure you turn in the right file. 